Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at GTC 2012. I'm here with Tom Cool from Penguin Computing. He's a senior VP, and you're also a, a, the GM of Penguin On Demand. That's the, right. The cloud offering. So Tom, let, let's start at the beginning of, you know, this is a GPU show, hybrid computing folks, graphics folks. What are you showing them at, at this uh, conference, and what do you guys bring to the table? Well, we'll start with some of the new uh, system designs that we have coming out. Um, we've just uh, completely refreshed our server designs, so we have now uh, one U, two U, and four U server configurations that can have um, you know series of GPUs in them up to our four U, which you can put eight GPUs into one one box for very very dense uh, GPU computing. So we're um, we're showing off those systems here at the show, and uh, we're also talking about other um, related. Um, technologies that we have for GPU computing, like our like our, our cloud computing environment, and um, some of the large installations that we have, so customers can get a feel for what we've done with other customers in the past here about uh, doing hybrid computing and, and you know super accelerated computing with uh, GPUs. Sure. Now, yesterday at the keynote, uh, uh, they they rolled out the Kepler design. They're going to start with the single precision. Are you guys going to offer that as a product, or are you going to wait till the, the K20 comes out with double precision sometime in the fall? Probably wait. Most of our customers, uh, double precision is very, very important to them. Um, there are certain industries, like the bioinformatics industry, that we do sell a lot into, mm -hmm. and uh, single precision is fine for them because that's more of an image processing yeah. um, type task. Okay. But for the computational requirements that most of our customers have, um, double precision is, is really a requirement. Terrific. So, uh, you know, one of the surprise announcements for me was uh, NVIDIA talking about cloud computing yesterday and they're offering in that space. But Penguin's been offering GPUs over the cloud for a while now, haven't they? We have, Rich. We started doing this in 2010 and uh, we put in our first uh, GPU cluster in 2010. And um, we call our service Penguin Computing On Demand or, or POD for short. And there are really multiple pods. So a pod is a uh, compute resource in the cloud. We have these pods located in multiple data centers all over the country. Yeah. And different pods have different compute capabilities. Um, and we have several pods that are GPU enabled. So you can go to those and basically scale out to do GPU uh, compute. A lot of people use them for software development environments. So they can run on you know one GPU and then scale out and just see how their software runs. Mm -hmm. Other customers actually use it in production. Uh, we have customers that run uh, an NVIDIA-based product called Reality Server, which actually is a real-time rendering uh, system that runs on the GPUs. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a variety of applications that customers can run actually in production mode right now. So could you contrast like uh, you know I think I think AWS has a. GPU instances or something, but mm -hmm. I mean, how does a pod kind of configuration differ from uh, some of the other clouds out there? I mean, what what makes you guys special for HPC? That that's a great question, and um, the main there's a couple of differences actually. One is that a pod is a ready-to-go HPC compute environment. Whether you're using um, Intel or AMD, whether you're using a Lustre file system or a standard NFS file system, mm -hmm. um, whether you want to use uh, GPUs on your system, you want fat nodes or you want more you know, lean compute nodes, a pod is a ready-to-go compute environment with all the software stack, all the tools, and all the applications. So it's very easy to get up and running and started um, it's supported by uh, our staff at Penguin Computing that has a lot of HPC experience. So these guys have been doing HPC for a long time. A number of them have PhDs in a particular discipline. Mm -hmm. So they provide um, customer support and let you basically get up and running with very little experience in HPC, just relying on these guys. And that's all included in our core hour and uh, storage prices. So we don't have any additional fees for support or anything else. Okay. So, so I'm imagining that uh, users out there might be used to the GPU on their system, mm -hmm. right? But, but scaling, right, to multiple, is, is, is that a playground that you guys can you know, offer a service that they can try? Absolutely, to, yeah. absolutely. So you can, you can, as you said, you can run your application, say, uh, on your desktop with one GPU. And then if you want to see how that scales out to 10 or 20 or 30 or more GPUs, then you can scale out and uh, look at the performance results. So that happens a lot. Another um, very interesting use of GPUs is in education. And actually this is for people that want to do classes. So if you think about a classroom uh, environment, somebody will want to use, say, 20 GPUs for their 20 students for two hours. 
And so they could just scale out to the cloud, they can run their classes, and then when they're done, you know, they don't have to pay for it. So, right, right. very, very convenient. That, that makes a lot of sense, because purchasing that uh, for that short instance in a course wouldn't make any financial sense. Right. right? So, you guys can do that. So let, let, let's shift gears here. I want to uh, talk about uh, you know the move to the enterprise and maybe sure. just bring it at, at the tail of this discussion. But um, you know, I saw the press release. It said, you know, Penguin's got the new Intel processors and you're making advances towards uh, the enterprise computing. Is it more to it than that than just offering a new processor? What, what's behind this move? Well, it has to do actually a lot with uh, computing uh, with Sandy Bridge and also uh, with new innovative storage, storage systems that Penguin has been both bringing out ourselves and also partnering with. So we've been partnering with storage vendors and providing um, really cost-effective, turnkey, high-performance storage systems for the enterprise. So I'd have to say that our storage business is the one that's really growing the most um, out there. And some of these are very dense, you know, 24, 36, 42 um, drive storage servers um, for example, many customers now, if you're doing email, you're actually running on a Penguin server. Um, but we're also doing cloud, uh, cloud systems as well. So we've just recently started to have customers buy our cloud systems and, and, um, and that's for just running up you know, a whole bunch of VMs and supporting their, their cloud customers. Okay. So what are Penguin's strength as a company coming from the HPC space that is attractive to these enterprise customers? These enterprise customers are looking to find a vendor that's actually more cost effective than the previous vendors that they've used in the past, yet they want that tier one level of service. So they don't want to pay the tier one pricing or maybe some of the more high-end storage vendor pricing, but they still want that level of service. They still want to have a company that they can depend on. And we, Penguin offers that. And so we've seen just a, a tremendous take up in um, you know, the web services world, um, actually in the financial uh, high frequency traders um, and other types of enterprise environments. So that's a real strong growth area for Penguin. Okay, and, and with that storage capability, is big data a play here for you as well, you think? It definitely is. Um, we're starting to provide more and more capability for doing MapReduce type, um, you know, large data analysis um, algorithms for Hadoop. In fact, um, we just have designed a Hadoop system for a customer that needed it to support their high frequency traders to be able to do some data analysis. Um, so big data analysis using a MapReduce technique or using Hadoop is something that we're starting to see a lot of growth in. We'll actually have this on our on-demand system here very soon. So you'll be able to actually spin up a, a, a Hadoop system, be able to do your analysis in a very secure way and yet a very high performance way, which is difficult to do in the cloud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then kind of a wrap up here, you know, uh, you guys aren't as big as some of the other players in that space, obviously, but how does somebody engage with Penguin? Do you go through partners or how do they work with you? Well, we have a large direct sales team. So um, we have representation basically all over the country. And then we have partners now that are uh, uh, in uh, APAC, primarily in Japan. And we also have them in the UK and in Germany. So there's even an international presence to Penguin now. But the direct way is just to contact us right at our contact information on the website. Um, and we are generally the, the, the primary contact for anything we do, whether it's just a Penguin system or whether we partner with, say, a storage company. So um, just contact us through telephone or email and, and our direct sales team will get back in touch with you.